Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rock and never wear. Booty, booty. What's up YouTube is Desi and I'm back with another video you guys and this video is actually going to talk about the possible dangers that can happen for you for phlebotomy. Um, I am driving right now y'all. I'm actually on my lunch break so your girl had to grab something quick from Chick-fil-A. Alright, so basically um, with this video I wanted to tell you guys I did see a, vid um, a comment underneath one of my videos and they were saying like what if like there's possible um you know serious injuries or serious like things that can happen to you when doing phlebotomy like as far as for like exposure to hiv or aids or accidental needle sticks stuff like that so exactly how to go about with those um so basically uh with phlebotomy those type of things can happen i'm not gonna lie those type of things can happen uh, me personally with my experience i really never had an experience where i had accidentally got stuck or accidentally you know anything like that now i have seen an incident where someone else had got you know the situation done and i'll tell you guys as far as for what happens with that so what my experience when working as a phlebotomist at a plasma center basically you want they provide you with everything so every plasma center is different but for the most part they need to provide you with the correct ppe ppe is going to be the protection um proper protection equipment basically whenever you're doing like anything for exposure uh with specimens or any type of you know things like that so basically for us they gave us a shield so we had a shield to put on whenever we would collect blood or also you know when inserting the needle into the patient also we would also have um jacket on so they gave us like a lab jacket as well and that's very important because like i say the shield is important because one due to splashing most people they have good veins where it do tend to splash now i have seen that happen but the splash never got on me or anything like that if anything the splash will probably like go something like as far as like that it never been where it's like you know hitting my face or anything like that um so they do give you a shield they give you gloves they give you um the lab jacket to wear that's the most part that i've seen as far as for that now as far as for um accidental needle sticks i have seen that happen and i'm gonna tell you guys on how that happened so basically whenever you're doing a needle stick or something like that people reactions can sometimes lead to accidental needle sticks or also just not too much paying attention now needles accidental needle sticks can happen because say for instance you're going inside the go ahead and say for instance you're going inside to go ahead and administer the needle to go ahead and get the blood draw and say for instance as you're doing that or something like that the person jumps or something that can sometimes you know be a way where the blood can sometimes go any other way or something like that what i like to do honestly i like to give myself space from the patient even as i'm you know trying to get the blood and stuff like that because i have seen like certain phlebotomists at the plasma center that i was working with they will be so close up trying to get the um the vein and stuff like that and don't get me wrong if the person has a skinny vein or something like that i understand the fact of the matter of you trying to do that but honestly i like to still give it space if anything i know i'm paying attention but i don't want to get too too close where say for instance either a slack can get on me or anything you just never know now a way that the accidental needle stick can also happen say for instance trying to cap back on the um put the cap back on the needle that's one of the major ones so say for instance you do have some people who don't take phlebotomy as serious and they really take it as a joke but say for instance once you're done doing that phlebotomy stick you're supposed to put the cap onto the needle so that way it won't be where there's any accidental needle sticks now most people by the time they put the cap back on the needle either they done did it wrong or they you know did it in a way where it's too much playful and the needle could sometimes touch them even through the gloves so with the gloves just being as thin as they are that's why most accidental needle sticks tend to happen so you just want to try to be careful on that end when it comes to stuff like that at the end of the day whenever you're done with phlebotomy one thing i like to do one always pay stay focused and pay attention you don't want no one calling your name or anything like that just be like okay i'm with this patient right now i'll do everything else i need to after this have all your materials ready because that's another thing too accidental needle sticks and stuff can come from you not being prepared like say for instance you're trying to reach over here to go grab something you're trying to reach over there to go grab something you want to have everything prepared um, now, as far as for the HIV and AIDS, you don't know what type of patient you're going to be dealing with or as far as for the HIV and AIDS. But however, what I like to do is already read up on the profile to make sure I know what I'm dealing with. Um, also, the type of tubes that you'll be collecting can kind of let you know the type of patients that you'll be dealing with. But however, I just feel as if like um, AIDS and HIV is, is something that could to be worried about when it comes to phlebotomy because not everyone, one, is clean and not everyone 
is the same you know most people they have diseases and stuff like that and that's the whole point of us in the healthcare field is to help them out but overall you want to be precautious on that like my thing is it's just it, all that matters is your approach you want to have a good approach when it comes to phlebotomy because like my thing is you don't want to be in where you're one of those people that's just trying to multitask so much and can't even finish one doggone thing and then that's how that leads to more accidental stuff and like i say just try to stay focused on one thing you don't want to just be going to one thing and go to another that can that can sometimes happen too ways to prevent needle sticks um like i said be prepared just make sure that you're staying focused on one thing also read up on the patient before you do the phlebotomy stick like say for instance why is the patient here what, what are we getting the twos for you know those type of things um things to be aware if you have a patient that is hiv positive or anything like that you don't want to treat them different you don't want to be like okay i'm gonna make sure i'll be careful with this one like yeah you want to be careful you, honestly in the healthcare field the whole entire thing that i learned in um, medical assistant schooling is you're supposed to treat everyone as if they have a disease anybody that walks through that door you're supposed to treat them as if they have a disease because at the end of the day it's the healthcare field and on top of that too you're being exposed to a lot of things um one thing I can say to just try to prevent it, just make sure that you have everything together. Um, try not to do as much playing around because at Plasma Centers, people tend to play around so much, you guys. It is very annoying. And just pay attention. You won't have accidental needle stick if you're taking your time, making sure you're careful, making sure you're very detailed on everything that you're doing. You should be fine. But for the most part, I just feel like accidental needle sticks can happen depending on the type of patient that you have and your approach other than that you should be completely fine it's not nothing to get scared about um most people i feel like that's one of their fears when it comes to phlebotomy but honestly it's not that bad i feel like just pay, pay close attention to what you're doing into the field um pretty much do i think that phlebotomy is worth it right now um i definitely do because one thing i can say they have been growing up going up on the wages as far as for phlebotomists uh due to the pandemic so that's definitely something good um I feel as if like right now here in Florida, they're not really paying as much money, but it, it has been a major jump since what they used to pay most people in Florida. So that's what I will say. So say for instance, if you were making like me personally in the past, $11 as far as for a phlebotomist, pretty much right now, they probably boosted up as far as for 14 to $15 an hour, depending on the location and the state that you're in. But here in Florida, it's not like a major, major boost where it's like, oh my gosh, yes, I want to make sure that I apply. So, you know, those are the type of things that I would definitely look at. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I read you guys' comments all the time. So that's really what kind of helps me out with knowing the next video that I'll do. Um, hopefully this video will be able to help you out. And if you guys have any experience as far as for as far as for having like an accidental needle stick or anything like that, comment down below and let me know how everything went. Like, not as far as like did it go good or anything like that. Like what exactly happened? What what led up to it, you know? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and y'all stay safe. Peace, y'all.